Ah, here we are, enjoying a nice spring day. Snow is a mountain. Muck everywhere. Ah, there it is. The solar charging cart. It did start out with the intention to be a Saturn lander, but after we got the solar panels on it, we ran out of money. And that was it. That's as far as she got. <laughs> so this is a nice sturdy cart that I built for it. Nice charging cart. It's four feet wide by six feet in length. Nice heavy 2x6 frame, pressure treated. I will have to put some sealer on it and some outdoor paint on the top this summer. But she managed the winter very well. I'm going to have to adjust the incline. Now I can go higher up, which is easy enough to do. This is uh, two 100 watt panels. And there's the battery box. And what I did is I mounted a piece of angle iron across the bottom of a satellite mount. Over here is the charge controller. Yep, she's doing pretty good, 13.7. It's happy. The little battery smiling. Yeah, it said it was friendly. <laughs> And basically what I got is an extension cord going out here and it goes over to that monstrosity there. I got to straighten out those wires later, but because I'm just using it to run garden lights that are equipped with LEDs, I do not need any heavy duty wire. So I just used a 16 gauge extension cord. Never had any problems with that because it's not high current. So yeah, that's simple. When I adjust the elevation, I just got to adjust this here and I can pull that back more and it'll tilt the elevation of the platform up. I can turn it or I can pull it to another spot in the yard at different times of the year. Tires, fairly expensive. I just used some threaded rod for axle. Now basically what I've got here is I've got this bolted right through. I got I think four bolts that go through and then another eight lag bolts that go into a piece of two by six that go flat down the inside. So it's uh, well anchored. That's like I say the mount off of an old 1.2 meter satellite dish. It worked out perfect for a mount for that.